Good morning people. Uh, how are you all? So I've had a pretty decent night. Uh, it did rain quite a bit overnight so the uh, outside of the tent was nice and wet this morning which uh, is not a pleasure to pack up. Uh, but yeah we're all done. It's uh, just about eight o'clock now and uh, ready to set off again. Oh, so the first 30 to 45 minutes or so. All right. Hello. Good morning to you. Um, so pretty much straight out of the campsite. Uh, you just start going straight up. Um, we're nearly at the top now. Just got to go over the last little bit. And then I think it's going to start dropping down again. But yeah, it's definitely awake now. And we are at the top. Hard work to get up here, but some stunning views. Right, so we are nearly down at the bottom again. You can see the Inveroran Hotel there behind me. And just as a little note, so if for whatever reason you don't want to climb this hill and come back down, um, you know, if you just don't want to, or if you have like a niggling injury, uh, super tired, because of course this will be day five or six or seven or so for a lot of people, um, just down there, you can see there is a single track road going along the bottom and that road literally passes right behind the camp area where we stayed and uh, goes to the Inveroran Hotel. Uh, so yeah, the path is slightly longer than if you go over the hill, uh, but of course it's nice and flat, so it should feel a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, just a little tip. Okay, so I've been going for a good hour and a half and uh, we're back on a nice uh, gravel road and yeah, it's going uh, pretty good so far. So we've got uh, quite a distance to cover this morning. So it's, I believe it's 11 miles to Glencoe uh, Mountain Resort. Uh, that's kind of the first uh, place where you really can stop off. So other than on previous days, there's not really a natural uh, lunch stop properly. Um, but yeah, we're gonna uh, think, I'm gonna head to, to Glencoe, have a kind of late lunch, sit down for a bit, and then uh, do the last mile or so to King's house and um, camp somewhere around there.
Right, so it's been going uphill for quite a while. Um, I think we're nearly back up at the height of where we were this morning up on the hill. Uh, but yeah, I just had a bit of a break, just sitting on a nice um, bridge. And uh, yeah, we're back on the way again. I think we shouldn't be too far off the top now. And then I think it's a lot flatter for a while. Okay, so we are three hours in, uh, roughly about five and a half miles. So I'd say more or less about halfway towards Glencoe. Well, yeah, it's time for another snack break. Um, so today feels quite tough. Um, I don't know, um, obviously it's a, it's a long morning without a kind of proper long lunch, uh, but it also feels like it's pretty continuously uh, just going uphill. And uh, we've got a good bit more to go. So we're roughly at around 300 meters above sea. And uh, just before we start dropping down into Glencoe, uh, we'll be at about 450. Uh, so yeah, still good uphill bit to go. And yeah, another good five miles. But yeah, hopefully these nuts will give us some energy and then I'll be on my way again. Right, so it has already stopped raining again. Uh, it rained for, don't even think it rained for 15 minutes, so barely worth putting the rain gear on. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stop in a minute and take it all off again uh, because as soon as it stops raining, it's definitely too warm and sweaty uh, to wear these extra layers. are finally at the top guys uh, wow this was rough so uh, especially kind of this last hour and a bit um i was uh, not feeling the greatest let's say uh but yeah we've got a little bit of flat ground ahead of us and then uh, we should start dropping down uh but yeah a couple a couple miles to go to glencoe and uh, I'm really, really, really looking forward to a rest. So it's uh, less than a mile and, mile and a half to Glencoe now, uh, all downhill. Um, but yeah, I just needed one more break. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is today, but I'm not feeling like 100%. Just um, kind of felt good this morning, but just throughout the walk now, just feeling a bit off, just a bit weird. Uh, so, yeah, taking plenty of breaks, uh, taking on a good bit of water. Uh, but, yeah, having a little bit more of a rest and then I'll get going soon. Ok, 
Okay, so I've just left the main West Highland Way path again. Uh, we're taking a small detour. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I want to grab some food at the uh, Glencoe Mountain Resort Cafe. And uh, yeah, so I'm just on a side path here. We'll get me there in the next couple of minutes and then it's time for some food. So I'm um, off again after having lunch. Uh, it was really nice, sat down for a good bit, um, had some food and I do feel a bit better now. So um, I was really thinking I was feeling enough today. Uh, so I had a good breakfast and I had some uh, high energy snacks all, you know, throughout the morning. Uh, but apparently my body needed more energy than that. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of slightly queasy of feeling that I had before the break is uh, gone for now. Hopefully, uh, you know, it will stay away. Um, but yeah, I'm now just headed over to King's house and then the plan is to camp uh, in an area just just behind there um, but yeah so I think it's just under two miles it does look so close over there just where those oh no not those uh, where a set of trees are but yeah it is about two miles um, so yeah I'm sure it'll take me uh, close to an hour um, because yeah, I'm definitely quite sore already. But yep, home stretch for today. Looking forward to get the tent set up and get settled in for the night. So it's also, it's uh, just after half past two now. So we should be at the camp spot roughly, probably just before half past three. So timing wise, it's really not a super, not really late or anything. It's not been like a super long day, but it felt like a really long day. So the section through Rannoch Moor, uh, very beautiful, uh, lovely, but it just seemed to go on and on and on. And also I think not helping is at some points you can really see the path in front of you for a few miles. So you know exactly where you're going and uh, kind of you can see how far you've left and that the point you can also see that it keeps going up. So I think, yeah, that's just a, I said, mentally tough, a little bit challenging today. Uh, but yeah, like I said just earlier, home stretch now. All right, so uh, I've arrived. I'm just in the woodlands here behind King's house and I've picked my spot. Uh, I've not set up yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it for a little bit anyway. It's not quite early and I'm just gonna, gonna chill and relax for a little bit first. All right, so I had a slight change of mind uh, I was gonna set up just kind of right by the river's edge. Uh, There's a nice little grassy flat spot. Uh, but yeah, I decided to come back here into the woods a little bit. Uh, pretty much just because um, it's a little bit more sheltered and it's looking like not super windy, but it looks like there's gonna be a bit of wind. And also on the river's edge, you are still in view of the hotel, uh, which I just prefer uh, not to be. So yeah, come back here slightly. Uh, half set up the tent. Completely forgot that I packed out wet this morning. Um, so the fly sheet, uh, I'm just having it dry out a little bit first before, before putting it on. Uh, but yeah, slowly, slowly getting set up. Okay, so I'm just back down here by the river, uh, washing my feet, uh, I'm putting them into the cold water again, uh, which feels really nice. Uh, but annoyingly, I've just discovered uh, do have a bit of a blister going on. Uh, very weird for me. Uh, it's in a spot I've 
I can't remember I've ever had a blister, but it's kind of on the back outside uh, of my right heel. Um, it's, yeah, it's a, I mean, I could feel a little bit of like something in my shoe, but it wasn't like, it's not painful or anything. Uh, but yeah, fair, fair blister. So I don't really know why I've gotten one now. Um, I mean, I've, I've worn these shoes plenty before. Uh, I've never had any issues. Um, you know, no, no troubles the first four days on the West Highland Way. And as far as I know, like there's nothing I've done different. It's, um, same socks. Like my feet weren't like overly sweaty today. Like they've, they've definitely been sweatier before. Um, I've tied them the same as always. So yeah, really a bit of a, of a mystery where that, that blister has come from. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately they do happen. Um, so I'm gonna let it air out overnight, see how it is in the morning. But yeah, probably put some, uh, some tape or something over it just, just to make sure it doesn't get any worse. Uh, because yeah, at the point now, um, I can feel it, but it's not painful. Um, and I feel, think that's the, that's the point we want to keep it at. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna dry off my feet and then I think it's time for some dinner. Right, so I'm just sitting here, uh, waiting for my water to boil. And, uh, I'm just, I'm pretty amazed that there's not more people camped here at the moment. So yes, it's only quarter past five. Um, so there's very much a chance that more people will pitch up. But right now, there's just me plus one other tent down there. Uh, and that's it. So, uh, I know the appeal with wild camping is, you know, to be kind of away from everything. Uh, but, and you know, I fully get that. Um, I mean, I, I love being out literally in the middle of nowhere for, for one or two night camp. But on, uh, on this trip, you know, your multi-day trip. So most people will be out here for at least six, seven, eight days. And uh, camping up here just gives you some basic facilities. So uh, the hotel provides a public toilet. And also you can pay to have a shower. I think it's only a pound for five minutes or so. And I think especially if you're, some people will be a week into a trip by, by now. Uh, kind of, it's nice having those facilities. So yeah, quite surprised there's not more people here. We'll see if anyone else pitches up, but for now, just two tents. So, I'm just having dinner. Uh, really nice, by the way. Uh, but across from me, there's a little show going on. That deer was literally eating right across from me the whole time um, I was eating and I probably could have, you know, stared and watched it a good while longer but um, it has started to rain a little bit so I can't feel it here under the tree but you can feel it out in the open and um, also the wind is actually making it quite chilly. Um, that's supposed to be a heat wave but not up here in Scotland. Uh, yeah, so it's getting pretty cold, so uh, I've just washed up, uh, I think I'm going to head into my tent and uh, get into my sleeping bag. Uh, but yeah, just before that, quick chat about today. So we left at 8 o'clock, got here about at 3.15. Um, 12 mile day, uh, quite a lot of uphill, um, but yeah. I wasn't feeling the best today. Um, doing all right now, legs are pretty sore. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I've definitely kind of underfueled during the first half of the day. I really thought I was um, having plenty of calories. I mean, I had a snack pretty much every time I stopped. Uh, but yeah, just fe was feeling a bit queasy for, for kind of the last hour and a half of the um, kind of getting a cross-runner core. Uh, but yeah, feeling better now. 
um, gonna think about what I want to make different tomorrow because of course we do have the big uphill again devil's staircase um, but yeah feeling still feeling okay feeling good I hope you I'll have a good recovery overnight and we'll tackle next day tomorrow. Good morning. So it's nearly seven o'clock. Uh, I'm up. And uh, unfortunately, I had to make uh, had to make um, a hard decision overnight, and I'm actually heading home this morning. So um, I was saying it yesterday. At parts, I just wasn't feeling very, very good, and uh, kind of felt better in the evening uh, after some, you know, food, some rest. But now overnight, um, I've got a, a headache. I, I really can't shake. And I definitely also uh, think I had some some slight fever sweats um, overnight. Um, so yeah, I think the reason I wasn't feeling too great on my hike yesterday is uh, I'm just I'm coming down with with something. Uh, I'm not feeling absolutely horrible, but um, it will be quite a strenuous day today, and I just don't think it's uh, worth it risking it. You know, feeling really bad out in the middle of nowhere, or just keep getting worse and uh, I really wouldn't wouldn't enjoy it then um, so yeah um, uh, I've got to hike about a mile back up the road towards the bottom of where the um, Glencoe ski centre road ends because that's where um, the only bus in the area picks you up and that bus is going to take me straight to Fort William uh, where I can pick up the car and drive home um, but yeah, the, I'll have to double check it. I think the first bus is until about 8.45ish. Um, so yeah, I can take it chill this morning. I do want to set off just uh, just after 8. So I've got plenty of time to walk back to the, the bus stop. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast. And then start packing up slowly. Uh, but also what did make it just, or makes it just a little bit easier to go home today um, so we do actually have some weather rolling in later this afternoon um, so yeah I was supposed to hold off um, till tomorrow evening possibly even the day after uh, but looking at the weather now it's really um, coming in early and yeah it's just uh, looking to get uh, quite windy and also really really rainy again and uh, yeah just like I said you're not feeling great not the not the best idea to to walk through there and uh, it would especially would most likely be a camp in the wet tonight which um i don't want to do uh bonus uh, so we've only got two stages left now so i will definitely come back and finish this but i can just get it done in a normal weekend now uh, which i'll definitely will at some point uh, but yeah I'll, I'll wait for the good weather for that Right, so it's just about eight o'clock. I'm all packed up. I'm not quite re fully ready to go yet. Like my shoes are still untied, but I'm just uh, walking to the bathrooms for now, uh, freshen up there a little bit, and then head over towards the bus. Right, so I'm officially on my little walk to the bus stop. Uh, the bus is in about 45 minutes. Uh, the walk should only take about 20. But yeah, I'd rather get there early and wait than having to uh, to rush. Uh, but yeah, kind of disappointed. But also, I know I'll be I'll be back to finish this when I when I feel 100%, and also when the the weather's better. Uh, but yeah, for now, uh, also the the blister on my heel. Uh, I decided not to uh, tape it because uh, obviously we're going less than a mile today and it's actually I can barely feel it in the in the shoe 
uh, not painful at all. I'm just uh, I kind of feel that there's something on the back of my heel, so it's a bit weird, but yeah, all good. Okay, here waiting at the bus stop. It's still about 25 minutes until the bus should arrive, but I just checked it and it's looking like it's on time. Um, so yeah, just gonna chill here and uh, wait for the bus. Made it back to the car. Uh, here in Fort William, it's nice and sunny for the moment, but yeah, that, that weather's definitely moving in. Um, very nice, nice bus journey. They, of course, goes right through the heart of Glencoe, uh, which is beautiful. But yeah, so where I'm parked here in Fort William, there is a uh, Lidl's right across the road. So I'm just gonna get some uh, croissants, a brownie maybe something along that line and then I'll, I'll do the drive home uh, but yeah I'll, I'll finish this video here so unfortunately not quite the um, end that I was expecting this time around but yeah you always you've got to listen to your body and uh, sometimes it's just not the right time I'll be I'll be back here I will finish those last two stages uh, so stay tuned and see you next time.